The world has been watching Iran through the eyes of the government-controlled media and the Internet. Following the contested presidential elections in 2009, reformist supporters took to the streets, demanding their vote be counted, claiming President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad rigged the elections and, quote, stole the presidency from their candidate, reformist Mir Hussein Mousavi. While the government perspective and the marches in its support are available through the national media, the opposition has no place to go but the Internet and the forums it affords them through social networking sites such as Twitter and Facebook. The color green representing the opposition continues to flourish in avatars and backgrounds. Iran became a household name around the world as amateur videos taken from simple mobile phone cameras are uploaded on sites such as YouTube and beamed to millions of viewers within seconds. Anonymity is key in all this, as this activist tells CNN. It's not as easy, and especially as a lot of people have been arrested and, and, and their mobile phones have sort of been used as evidence against them. Although she's outside Iran, her identity in our interview, as on Twitter, remains a mystery. She says her role is very specific. One of the things that I was sort of mainly asked to do during a lot of the protests is to give you know, sort of updates of where the besieged are, who they're attacking, how to get around them, where people should go. In the early days, they could just you know, message me, email me, phone me. A lot of people would tell somebody who was in, in another country and then they would tell me. So you know, they used some extraordinary sort of methods to get, get things out. Sometimes it's very difficult. A lot of these people are now being watched, so it gets very difficult to get direct news from them. Like Oxford Girl, many activists in Europe, the U.S., and other parts of the world play the mediator's role in carrying messages back and forth, disseminating information the Iranian government tries to suppress. On February 11th, anniversary of the Islamic Revolution, the opposition was hoping to hold massive anti-government rallies. The government's answer was to crack down, making arrests, disrupting communication, and deploying a massive police force on the streets to prevent the opposition from reaching their destination. That showed us that while Iranian activism online was successful in organizing the masses and keeping the anti-government sentiment alive, the opposition inside Iran either did not plan for or now lacks the power to effectively respond to the government's crackdown. Octavia Nasser, CNN, Atlanta.